Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about healthy habits for trading and things that uh, I've done that I think are a mistake and uh, just, my, just my recommendation to you. So number one, um, I've come to realize that nicotine um, is very detrimental to my ability to trade. It makes me anxious, it makes me nervous, it makes me um, push the button, pull the trigger so to speak too quickly. So uh, obviously I have to go without that. Um, the other thing guys is that you've got to stay hydrated. So I always have like a Gatorade or an electrolyte or something with me pretty much at all times. Um, because I know when my brain is dehydrated, I'm going to, my decision making ability is going to diminish. And remember guys, when you are trading a one minute chart and you're trading the NASDAQ, your margin of error is virtually nothing. You think that $3,000 is a lot of drawdown. It's not. Um, other thing, guys. So I used to drink a lot of Coke Zeros, um, soda, so aspartame and sugar. Uh, so sugar and fake sugar, um, I found it to be like if I drink a bunch of Coke Zero, it it, it it kind of clouds my judgment for whatever reason. I don't don't ask me why. I just know that it does. Um, I know what a good mind state for me trading is. That's cool, calm, hydrated. And so I'll drink coffee. Coffee um, is not too bad. Um, but yeah, so nicotine I would say would make uh, is detrimental to performance as it makes you. Um, more anxious and you need a, a degree of patience. Um, I understand that it can increase your increase, like it can stimulate you, right? It is a stimulant, but um, I would go without nicotine if I were, if I were you. Um, it's going to make you too anxious, um, make you pull the, make you push the button too quickly. Um, always stay hydrated. So, you know, it sounds stupid, guys, but this is kind of like a performance sport. I mean, you really need to look at it that way. I mean, this is a sport, and you have to treat your body uh, like it is a sport, like it's an, you know, it's an athletic event. So you will get dehydrated training for hours at, hours at a time. I promise you, you will, and your dehydrated mind is not going to perform as well as your hydrated mind. I know that sounds stupid, but it's true. Um. And then Diet Cokes, Coke Zero, Cokes, sodas that have a lot of sugar or a lot of sucralose or spartame, they mess with you. They do something to you. I don't know what. I don't fully understand it myself, but I know it does something to me. I, I, I know it. So then a lot of, a lot of sugar, um, so ice creams, you know, su sugar will like mess with you. So, you know, I, I think that sugar... Sugars are pretty detrimental to trading. Um, and then you've got to go for walks. You've got to you've got to take breaks. Uh, you've got you've got to uh, do push-ups, shadow box, whatever you whatever you got to do to get the blood flowing um, for optimal performance. You've got to treat this like a sport, guys. I promise you. Um, your margin of error for these things is very very small, guys. Very very small. So. You need to be in top performance, and to be in top performance, you need to exercise, sleep, uh, avoid sh avoid as much sugar as you can, avoid sugars, um, and I would say that anything like prescription drugs, other narcotics, and yeah, I know which one you most of you probably use, I would say it probably is detrimental to your performance. I just, you know, that would be my opinion. Um, it probably is. So anything that is going to take you out of a natural, cool, calm, and collected, I would say is going to be detrimental. So sugar, prescription drugs, uh, other, other narcotics, um, they're, they're going to be pretty detrimental. The other thing, guys, is if you overeat, so for example, if you have like a really big meal, I would not trade because uh, it's going to make you tired. It's going to make you, um, your ghrelin, whatever, it's, it's going to mess with you. Anything that messes with you is going to be you know, so you got to eat in moderation. You got to stay hydrated. You got to sleep. You got to rest. You've got to exercise. You've got to treat trading like a full-time sport and like you're an athlete. And it's—I know it doesn't feel like that in the moment, but it's true. 
you do. So those are my health recommendations to you and some things that I've noticed. Um, no smoking. No, by the way, drinking during trading. Guys, do not drink. Um, any, any amount of alcohol while you're trading, I would stay away. Um, I'm not saying don't drink. I, I drink sometimes. But I'm saying don't drink and trade. Like, don't drink and drive, don't drink and trade. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't, guys. It's just my, if you want to optimize your performance, no, I would not have a beer and trade. No, I would not have uh, an Irish whiskey and trade. I just, I wouldn't. I've tried it, and it messes with your cognitive ability. It does. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, it's a fact. It's a fact. It will, it will be a detriment to your cognitive ability the same way that too much sugar and the same way that um, being dehydrated is a detriment to your cognitive ability. So don't drink and trade. Don't smoke and trade. Don't, you know, don't eat, don't eat a bunch of junk food and a bunch of sugar and trade. Um, don't go for 34 hours without sleep and trade. It's just what I'm... Guys, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's you pressing the button, your mind pressing the button. And if you don't nourish it, if you don't take care of it, if you don't take care of your body and mind, you're not going to perform at your full capability. So um, I'm not saying don't drink. I'm not saying don't smoke. I don't care what you do. I'm just saying don't smoke and trade. Don't drink and trade. Don't don't drink a bunch of Coke Zero and sugars or fake sugars so like aspartame, sucralose. Don't, don't drink a bu bunch of that and trade. Don't eat a bunch of ice cream and trade. Um, yeah, that's that's it, guys. Uh, those are my health health recommendations to you for day trading. Treat it like a sport. Treat it like treat it as though you are in a competitive sport because you are. Bye bye.